Hi everyone and welcome to a quick video on um, vignetting um, in the camera. I've made this because one of my subscribers the other day put a stupid comment on um, about one of my flash videos saying oh my god where's all that vignetting from if I were a bride I'd put a rope round my neck and jump off of a big building and I'd die and that would be it at the end of my wedding. Well basically um, at this basically I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review this lens soon it's a 20 to 120 f4 vr nikon lens and it's an absolute outstanding lens but yes it does have a bit of vignetting wide open at f4 um but for most people that's not a problem because i'm going to show you how to fix it now and to be fair if you shoot jpeg it has in camera settings which fixes it on the fly but for the purpose of the flash photography videos i actually shot raw and then converted to jpeg um, which to be thinking about, I probably just should have shot JPEG. It would have saved me converting to, to JPEG and it probably would have fixed the vignetting. But that being said, I just want to show you the easiest thing in the world. Now you can see wide open that there's some vignetting, but to be fair, when you get your exposure a bit better, it don't look as bad, but you can see on the corners. But let me just show you this ace trick. Watch, watch. Go on. That's it. Simple as that. Simples. Go on. As easy as that. Now your camera, your Nikon cameras can do, some of them can do that in camera. If for any reason it doesn't, you can just bring it into almost any editing software and just click these two buttons here and that's it. It's fixed. There's no more vignetting. If I now uh, command there and then it sync, choose the lens correction, I've just done every single image. As easy as that. So the guy who was on about the vignetting, don't waste my time. Don't waste your time looking at it, talking out of your ass. Just deal with it. It's an easy fix, look. Vignetting, no vignetting. Vignetting, no vignetting. Vignetting, no vignetting. Don't get me wrong, while I'm actually here, I'll just show you that at 5.6, these are the pictures I use for the flash photography, by the way. Well, you can see there, look, at 5.6, it's not quite as bad, especially when you get the exposure right. But there is still a touch. But that's the thing that you, since I've gone full frame, on APC size sensors, you never knew, used to notice uh, uh, vignetting as much, but on the full frame, you do notice a lot more vignetting on your lenses. But to be honest, I don't mind it personally. But I just thought I'd show you again out of the camera at 5.6. It's not that bad at 5.6, to be honest. At F4, it is, it is a little bit worse. But, you know, you'll see when I review the lens and I discuss it. But you can see it's absolutely tack sharp. Look at, look at the detail on that. And there's no editing done whatsoever. It, it was out of the... Well, yeah, there is. There's lens correction. That's it. Um, that's out of the camera. And lens correction. So this is just a quick video on how... You can also, um, on the way in when you're importing your images, you can apply lens correction. You can tell Lightroom every time that it sees that 20 to 120 lens on the import, it'll just correct it on its own. If you want a video on showing you how to do that, I will do that also. And I'll see you in part three on, um, what we're gonna do on part three. I'll tell you what triggers I use and I'll explain a little bit how to use manual flash, um, but, it, but it's pretty simple. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up or comment and subscribe. It's only a couple of clicks and it does me a great deal.